343 steps and full firefighter gear, all to honor the lives lost on September 11, 2001. It's all part of the 343 Hero Challenge put on by Orange County Fire Rescue. And it's a physical challenge combining CrossFit type exercises with firefighter training skills, all to honor the lives lost more than 20 years ago in the terror attacks. And the last two years, the challenge was canceled due to COVID, but now it's back. So joining us now, we have firefighter Doss Bozeman and Lieutenant Dave Coughlin. Good morning to both of you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Good morning. Thank you for having us. So can we just give us an idea of what the 343 challenge is all about from a firefighter's perspective? The 343 challenge is to honor the men and women who lost their lives, obviously on 9-11, um, and where it took our nation to. We, uh, 343 people lost their lives, so we're going to honor them with this challenge. And what does it involve? What will you guys be doing? Uh, it is several different workouts, short duration, all with it between four and eight minutes. Uh, they're going to be combining traditional exercises you find at a CrossFit gym or any other fitness center with uh, unique stuff that we do as firefighters to train for our job. Uh, people will be wearing bunker coats, an SCBA air pack, they'll be pulling hose, uh, as well as doing traditional exercises you find in a regular gym. And while this is like a physical exercise and a, kind of like a bonding exercise, how, how has that come together to be sort of a supportive thing that you do every year? So this year, as we've done in the uh, our previous year, we're raising money for the Firefighter Cancer Support Network, uh, not only in the state of Florida, but nationwide. Cancer really strikes firefighters um, hard with the, all the elements that we're exposed to on a daily basis. And I imagine doing this, it doesn't feel just like another workout for you. It's, there's such an emotional uh, component as well. Absolutely. You, uh, the first workout, we have everyone in bunker coats and SCBA pack climbing stairs. They're looking at photos of, from 9-11, uh, from like Steven Siller going up the stairs when everyone's coming down. We've got actual dispatches from the units before they go, before each heat begins. So it's a highly emotional event. Uh, and, it's, and it's just a tremendous event for everybody involved. And uh, everyone can participate. So what's the process of signing up? So the process of signing up at this point, we are actually full. We uh, sold oh, out wow. about three weeks ago. It was our first time selling out this early. Um, but we are still taking sponsors. That's how we help raise money. Um, it's open to the public. We ex would like for everybody to come out and do the spectator and uh, support us and see what the event's all about. And can you talk about that 343 and the symbolism there? So 343 firefighters uh, from FDNY died on 9-11. That was really the, the, the catalyst that started this whole event. We loved our facility for training and for working out as firefighters. We wanted to share that facility. We were able to do that combined with having a charity event that is centered around firefighters and what we do. And it gives the public kind of a, a glance into what we do and how we experience uh, you know, loss and how they can also pay tribute to those mm -hmm. fallen. And what do you hear from people, you know, regular people who don't wear bunker gear every day and don't pull hoses every day after they've done this workout in the past? What do you hear from them about Most that everybody that uh, does the workout, they, um, they feel a level of accomplishment because mm -hmm. they get to experience what we experience and then they don't realize the type of equipment we wear and how heavy it may be at times or how hot it is. I mean, we live in the state of Florida, mm -hmm. so it is exhausting. Um, but it is, um, they really embrace the movement of honoring those men and women. And how much does all that weigh? Just to give someone a perspective. You have the SCBA pack, you've got the bunker gear. It's, uh, it can weigh anywhere from 45 pounds to about 75, 80 pounds. And then you have extra stuff. You know, gear, gear freaks like Doss and I like to wear extra belts and carry extra <laughs> tools. Um, so it's not uncommon for a firefighter to come into a burning building weighing over 300 pounds. What's your favorite part about the event, personally? Personally, my favorite part about the event is um, just watching everybody come and pay tribute and the camaraderie, whether you're a firefighter, you're a regular person off the street, crossfitter, power lifter, it's just bringing another part of this community together. Mm -hmm. And you know, maybe, maybe you can't be a part of this year's event or can't maybe have something going on. What are other ways that we can show support throughout the year? Um, we do all kinds of events through outreach, through our own uh, wellness department, uh, especially focused on cancer and supporting firefighters with cancer. Uh, our social medias are pretty active in terms of engaging with the public and letting them access to what we do. All right, so tell us the when and the where and all that. We've got it on the screen, but for folks who may be doing something else and listening, how can we come out and watch this? The win is September 17th. It's Saturday. Um, the gates will open at 7. 
We're gonna uh, probably be done by four o'clock. It's at Forsyth Training Center between um, Highway 50 and University. All right, well, thank you so much. We appreciate you coming out this morning. Thank you for thank having you. us.